Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Graphics through AutoCAD. I am Rakesh Valsa. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to draw the given projections of straight lines one problem in AutoCAD software. Let us see the given problem is draw the projections of a 75 mm long straight line in the following positions. The first position is parallel to both HP and the VP and 25 mm from each. You can see it. here the given line length is 75. Let us assume the given line AB its length is 75 mm. The first question is this line parallel to both the HP and VP and 25 mm from each. That means 25 mm above the HP, 25 mm in front of VP. You can see it. This A dash B dash is the front view for the given given line, and A B is the top view for the given line. This is the first problem. The second one is same line perpendicular to HP, 20 mm in front of the VP, and its 1 and 15 mm above the HP. He has given that. The straight line is perpendicular to HP. You can see here. This A dash B dash is the 75 mm perpendicular to HP. He has given one more condition is this line 20 mm in front of VP. That means you can see this distance in the top view. This is the 20 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above the HP. This is the second problem. Third one is same line inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and it's 1 in 20 mm above it parallel to and 30 mm in front of the VP. Same line 30 degrees to the HP. You can see the third solution. Same line A dash B dash front view that is 30 degrees with HP and he has given other condition is this line 20 mm above the HP and 30 mm in front of VP. This is the solution for the uh, third problem. Let us see how to draw these three problems in AutoCAD software. First, we need to open the new file. Just you can move to the quick access toolbar. Click new. New means creates a blank drawing file. In this, you can click on open. Uh, you can see it uh, here. Uh, horizontal and vertical lines appear. This means grid graph sheet. That means grid lines. You can turn off this grid, uh, grid lines by using function key F7 or you can uh, use the status bar. This is the display drawing grid of. You can use F7 shortcut key. Uh, before going to draw this problem, we, know, we need to do few important settings. That is the first one is units un enter in the type decimal precision 0 uh, units to scale inserted content millimeter then click on ok next move to the dimension style manager d enter in that click on modify move to the text uh, text style is uh, here three dot, dot, dots are showing just click on these three dots one window is appear in that you can choose font name I am choosing times new roman font style regular text height is I am taking 3 mm height set current the current style has been modified do you want to save your changes yes then close this window next uh, one more setting is uh, text alignment that is ISO standard next move to the primary units Precision is 0. Uh, next, click on OK. Uh, next, click on Set Current. Close. The next setting is Options. That means uh, SCE Enter. Dropping settings. In that, you can choose Object Snap. Just you can ensure all the options are selected or not selected. Otherwise, click on Select All. Then click on OK. The next setting is uh, Limax LIMMEX that means uh, drawing sheet size. I am taking A4 size landscape mode that means 297, 210. Enter the last set. Next setting is UCS icon. UCS icon. Enter 
no origin n enter the last setting is zoom setting z enter a enter these are the few important settings in this autocad software uh, see here i am copying this text that means this question from this window to this window that means new drawings drawing file t enter just paste here yes uh, see here this is the given problem that is draw the projections of a 75 mm long straight line that means let us assume the given line ab that means true length is 75 mm uh, here the common step is draw the x y line for three problems by using line tool l enter line command l enter uh, for horizontal or vertical lines we need to turn on ortho mode draw the horizontal line yes give the names x and y this is x and other end is y by using text tool t enter uh, the first problem is the line parallel to both hp and vp and 25 mm from each that means 25 mm above the x5 25 mm below the x5 take line command l enter 25 mm above and repeat the same tool l enter from this point give below 25 mm below the x y next give the dimension d l i enter this is 25 and uh, this one is also 25 yes here the line length is 75 that means this projector length is 75 mm away from uh, this starting projector this, this means uh, let, us, let us assume this is the a dash and this is the a give the name this is a dash that means line first end this is the other end that means top u and a yes next draw the line that is 75 mm take line command l enter 75 mm above and below repeat the same tool this you can click space button 75 enter next join both ends this name is b dash and this name is b yes and give the straight line dimension d l i enter linear dimension start point and end point drag uh, below yes you can adjust this text by using move tool m enter turn off ortho mode yes this you can uh, give the variation for this projector line and uh, final front view and final top view here i am selecting this final front view i am giving red color and also i am giving the thickness by layer to 0 0.30 mm after applying this thickness it's, uh, it is not showing just you can turn on line weight you can see the variation of this projector line thickness and final front view thickness similarly i am selecting this one uh, choosing blue color and applying a line weight that is 0 0.30 this is the solution for the first problem that is line parallel to both the hp and uh, vp and 25 mm from each let us see the second problem that is line perpendicular to HP 20 mm in front of VP and it's 1 and 25 mm above the HP. For three problems, one common point is X5. So copy this X5 line and move from this place to this one. Yes. Here uh, we know that line is perpendicular to HP and he has also given one important condition 25 mm above the HP. So you can start uh, uh, 
B dash or A dash point that is 15 mm above the HP. Take line command 15 mm R uh, 15 mm above the HP. From this point, the line length is 75. 75 enter. So this one, this is the front view. So I am choosing red color and apply the thickness 0.30. Yes. Next, give the dimensions. D, L, I, enter. This is the 15 mm and this is the 75 mm. Next, give the rotations. You can give this. This is A dash, B dash, or this is the A dash, or this is the B dash. I am taking uh, this is my A dash point. This is my B dash point. Yes, and he, he has given that 20 mm in front of VP. So, from this point, 20 mm in front of VP, 20 enter by using line 2. When you seeing from top side, the top is I feel like one point. So, how to create that point by using donut command DO enter. Uh, inside diameter, I am taking 0, and outside diameter, I am taking 2 mm. This is the top view point. Next, give the dimension D, L, I, enter. First point and second point. Yes. This is the final solution for the problem number 2. That is perpendicular to HP. 20 mm in front of the VP. It's one end. 15 mm above the HP. Let us see the third problem. The same line. Inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and it's 1 and 20 mm above it parallel to and 30 mm in front of VP. We know that one common point is XY. Copy this XY line. I'm moving from here to here. Uh, he has mentioned that this 1 and 20 mm above it and 30 mm in front of VP. So I'm taking 20 mm above, above it means above the xy, take line command l enter, from this point 20 mm above it, this is the starting point and uh, draw the 75 mm line, 75 mm line, uh, shift at the right, uh, yes, l enter, this is my starting point, give the 30 degrees plus 75 mm line shift at the right oh, one minute where is my status bar geometrical dynamic mode yes, yes. l enter starting point shift at the right the line length is 75 click tap angle is 30 degrees enter here this point this point name is a dash and this is the other end point b dash Twenty mm above it and thirty mm in front of VP. Thirty mm in front of VP. So the other thirty mm, thirty mm below the XY line. This is thirty mm. Next draw the horizontal line up to this B dash projector line. Just you can move your cursor. B dash one vertical dash line is appear. Yes, join this one. Next, give the notation. This is top view A and this is the top view end point B. Next, give the dimensions by using DLI for linear dimensions. Uh, this one 20 mm above it and 30 mm in front of. Next, also give the line dimension by using align dimension d a 
L enter start point end point drag outside next give the angle dimension for uh, giving angle dimension I am constructing one horizontal line at A dash point next give the angular dimension D A N enter <coughs> this is the shortcut key for uh, angular dimension D A N enter 30 degrees for variation I am selecting this front view applying the color that is red and apply the thickness by layer to 0 0.30 next similarly I am selecting this top view uh, by layer to 0 0.30 and change the color blue this is the final solution for the problem number 3 uh, you can change the background color by using options op enter click on colors click on colors uh, uniform background by by using this window you can change the background color uh, initially when you open the software default uh, background color is black I have already changed that black to white ok this is the procedure to change the background color in AutoCAD software <coughs> then click on apply and close I hope this problem is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.